In this video we will go through the process of importing and labeling panels in Panels Plus. The first step is to load the CAD drawing. We navigate to where the DWG or .dxf file is located and open it. And we shift to the 00, zero coordinates if we want to. As we can see the CAD drawing has been inserted into our working area. Its visibility can be turned on and off using this button and using the drop down box we can view the various layers in the CAD drawing. It is assumed that the units of distance in the CAD drawing match the default units of distance in Panels Plus. If using SI units this is millimeters, if using Imperial this is inches or feet and inches. In the case that the units don't match up, the drawing can either be scaled in AutoCAD or a scaling factor can be specified before the CAD drawing is imported. To import the panel, we isolate the panel layer either by using the drop down box or with the import from panel button on and the select key on. We left click on an area that we want to isolate, right click and show selected layer type. To import a panel into a panel elevation, with the net select button on, we drag and drop and press the import elevation button. In the case that the panel elements were all drawn in the same layer, we wouldn't be able to use this drag and drop feature. When we import our elevation, we label it, specify its rotation, its panel thickness and its RL. If we leave this value blank, the program will assume that it's zero. As soon as we import panels into Panels Plus, all of the elevation views are populated. This particular view is the project view, which shows all of the panels in our current job. We can go into the elevation view, which shows a particular elevation and all of its panels, and we can go into the individual panel view. Going back to the project view, we turn CAD back on and continue this process for the rest of the job. All of our elevations are now imported and the elevations are all visible in the elevation drop down box. By default the panels are labelled sequentially from the order that they were imported. If we don't like this labelling system we can assign our own using the automatic labelling feature. We can define our own prefix and suffix and apply it to a panel. For a new elevation, we start a new sequence and repeat. We apply the label by clicking on a panel. In this manner, we continue through the rest of the job. So we have very quickly imported and labelled all of our panels. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.